As a student at the University of Washington, Ken Jones made some lifelong friends named Bell and Howell and Anton Bauer. And it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? This was his first movie, the first of thousands. Hired in 1973, he was the youngest photographer on the King's staff. 38 years later, he is the longest serving. That's nearly four decades of daily shooting and editing and adapting. 16 millimeter sound on film, then we went to three quarter inch videotape, half inch videotape, multiple formats of that, ending up with now our, the digital world where we either record on discs or sticks. We didn't win this because we shoot film, but because we shoot news. The transition to tape has been completed, but not without some difficulty. He's invigorated by the change that we find in TV news. He's challenged by it, he embraces it, and he's always looking for a different way to introduce our audience to their community. The thing I think everybody knows about KJ, he's endlessly passionate, endlessly enthusiastic. Whether we're covering a story on the other side of the globe or around the block, he's 110%. He loves what he's doing as if this is the best story he's ever done. Go, go! At the beginning, there's got to be great natural sound. Step away. Why don't you just stop and talk to us at this point, all right? He has brought cheerful intensity and that movie-making sensibility to some of the biggest events of his day. The ice is extremely slick on the roadway, makes it very hazardous condition. Visibility is down to zero. Right now, we are in a Black Hawk helicopter patrolling the perimeter about 40 miles north of Baghdad. This year alone in Africa, there will be 10 million children orphaned by AIDS. Now with capitalism unleashed, sleepy villages are undergoing social changes that Chairman Mao never foresaw. King 5 photographer Ken Jones and I had just been broadcasting the news right next to the tower where the bomb exploded. Hearing the explosion, Jones returned to the scene, following police cars into the park and getting the first interviews with witnesses. And, and it like dropped. She was our queen of hearts. She was an angel. I can't sleep or eat. It's terrible. China, once starving, can now feed its billion plus population. Now it strives to catch up to the modern industrial world. I'm just searching around to see if I can find it. Behind this door, firefighters find an 82-year-old woman, Ernestine Sims. All right, they're going to take care of you. Students are rebelling against tradition, rebelling against authority. The opening of a democratic era in South Korea, we wander right into a huge explosive protest, and he's in the middle of it. A lot of the things that we do in our business are not always safe. KG is always willing to stretch the boundaries to get a great story. This is reminding me of the lobotomy I had uh, last summer. Good. He's also willing to put a camera almost anywhere on anyone. A world-class swimmer. A teenage hometown skater about to introduce himself to the world. An open-wheel racer on the track. On his own head on a luge at 80 miles an hour. Through it all, he has remained human, helped raise a family, embraced grandfatherhood, and sailed whenever possible. He has fun at his craft and encourages those around him to have fun. And day after day, he's taken bits and pieces of sound and motion, people and places, and made magic. We're not just telling a story, we're really making a movie and I hope you see the movies that are KJ's life. Okay, that's, uh, that's all we have, that's all of our awards for tonight. But we do have some cigars, so don't feel like you gotta rush off.